Okay, guys. Uh, evening. I'm excited for one of these that we can talk about just good news. Uh, one of these games here soon, I hope. Um, thought the guys uh, competed hard. I mean, I don't think there's any question about that. I thought it was a really good football game, uh, to be honest with you. I think it was, what, 14-13 at half, 17-16 in the third. A um, couple third downs that we uh, converted, the penalties. One was a third and one that we converted, and they uh, called a 15-yard chop block. That ended up uh, hurting us, ended up turning into a field goal, I think, or maybe even a punt. And then another one, we had a third down to Bryce that we converted that ended up calling, they called uh, that he was covered up, um, which then in turn cost us there as well, turned into a punt. Uh, so two third down conversions that we didn't get offensively, which I was you know, hopeful that we would have. I, I thought that um, thought we did a nice job in terms of moving the football tonight. Uh, the first possession or first drive, again, we got down into the red area, had a penalty, stopped ourselves, Field goal, second drive, red area, penalty, stopped ourselves, field goal. Third drive, we had that fourth and one. Uh, got stopped on the quarterback sneak, which um, was surprising to me that we didn't get that. And then the next drive, we had the touchdown with Jamari on the double pass. Um, and then I thought we answered well in the second half. Um, and then we just kind of got caught at the end there, turning the ball over. Uh, we didn't turn the ball over in the first half, turned it over twice, I think, in the second half. And uh, one with Jordan, which unfortunately resulted in an injury. Um, and then um, one with uh, Michael there at the end. Uh, I thought our defense, you know, they battled. They hung in there. They were on the field a lot. They had every run thrown at them. Um, they, there was a lot of different, you know, hard runs to fit up. Um, and they got, they got some good runs on us. I know that. But I feel that our defense really played good football. I think that... The, the stats might not necessarily show it in the rushing, but I think if we converted on a fun, some of those plays, that wouldn't have happened. I um, want to say uh, UCLA, hats off, obviously. I've always thought very highly of um, Chip. I thought that he put together a really good plan. And then um, I think uh, hopefully with Jordan, we'll know better where he is injury-wise. Um, but I would, uh, I'd expect to be able to give you more of an answer on that Monday. Okay. Please raise your hand, Michael. Do you have any sort of preliminary diagnosis of what happened to him? And then also, what was the sort of emotional and psychological effect of all that? Uh, well, um, I, right now it's just, it, it seems to be some form of a right leg or knee injury that we'll take a look at what extent he's on crutches. Um, but until we get the MRI and the x-ray, we don't know exactly. Um, but... Uh, you know, I, I don't. I don't think it's a real short-term injury. I think we'll have to see the extent of it here soon. Um, I would say uh, emotionally. I mean, it hurts. You know, it hurts. It was a first and ten. Um, I think the score was 17-16 when it happened. It was first and ten. We had the ball. Uh, we just got, I think, a 15-yard pass interference penalty. So we were on about the 40 or so. We were calling a shot down the field to Booby. They played man coverage. Wound up um, taking a sack and, you know, with that, a fumble, with that, losing your quarterback, with that, having to put the defense back on the field, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. I think it was 24-16 at the time, actually. It's 24-16. So we're trying to answer the bell, right, and we're trying to answer, and we just hit two first downs in a row. And uh, I think there was a little bit of a deflation there. Um, but you know what? Our defense stepped up, and they did an incredible job right there of stopping them. And they pinned us back, and – uh, that, was a, that was a tough scenario, but, you know, it's obviously hurts when your quarterback, who we've really um, spent the last couple of weeks trying to get ready. Um, the penalties, especially the false starts, what do you attribute that to? Yeah, that was, that was um, uh, what they do is they stem their front leg very often, and, they, you know, you could see right at the last second while you're in the middle of your cadence, you know, they move. And, you know, maybe they make a move call, maybe they don't, but they, they're constantly moving. And I think what happened was we just got flinchy. Barrio got flinchy. Donovan got flinchy. And you can't do that. You have to hold your water. We practiced it all week. But, you know, when it came down to it, when we were going tempo, you know, you can't stem. So then, therefore, we weren't having any issues. But when we were coming out of the huddle is when it got us. How confident are you in the quarterback room going forward without Jordan possibly? Yeah, well, you know, as I, as I will tell them tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon when I see them, you know, 
Gunner won the quarterback job coming out of camp. And Gunner started against BYU and completed 75% of his passes and threw for a lot of yards and uh, moved the ball really well. And uh, I would expect him to continue to do that. I would hope that he learned from these last couple weeks of watching in the same way that Jordan did. And uh, with that, uh, I'm hopeful we can do a good job of, you know, getting him ready to play these next seven games and uh, go into Boulder and play really well. So he's, he's the starter for Colorado, should McLeod not play? Should McLeod not play, Gunner will be the starter, yes. Are there any other questions for Coach Michael? I mean, you kind of alluded to this, but the red zone or near the red zone has been an issue all season long, continued tonight. Was it different tonight in that a lot of it was sort of self-inflicted? Or was it, that continuing a pattern? Of yeah, I mean, I, I would say, you know, you – you could always say it continues to pattern because we didn't get out of it, right? So I, I think the, the best thing that happened today in terms of our red area is we were 100% with field goals, which we haven't been. So we, in terms of scoring, we were 4 for 4 in the red area, which is the first time we've been 100% scoring in the red area. Now, of course, we hit one touchdown and three um, third down and longs, and that's what kills us. We had a third and 16 in the red area. Um, we had a third and 11. And we wind up, you know, you just take yourself out of the chance to even throw the ball in the area because of penalties. I think we had a penalty every time we stepped foot in the red area other than the one time we scored. And if we don't stop, you know, doing those type things, it's going to make for, you know, long, tough nights. And uh, I think our guys know it. And, you know, we just got to keep chopping wood and keep understanding that until we stop from losing, you know, we're not going to start winning. And we got to we're keeping ourselves right now. Was the trick play to join her something that you anticipated using in this game? Yeah. Yeah, we had it up for this game, and we, uh, we felt the way they played, um, as aggressive as they were, that we would have had a chance at it. Looked like we made it harder than it needed to be, though. Right? Wasn't he really open? Because it looked like – I mean, I don't know. I just saw it kind of – I couldn't see the replay, but I was like, oh, my gosh. It looked like he had to make an outstanding catch. Considering the, the injuries and depth and things like that, would there be any consideration to Jamari getting another look at quarterback? No. no. Michael? How, how come Isaiah Rutherford didn't play tonight? Uh, he was sick. He got sick a couple of days ago with um, strep throat, and uh, he'll be back Monday. Anything else for Coach? Michael? What would you say was the mood in the locker room after this one? Uh, you know, I, I think disappointed. Um, but not disheartened. And, you know, I believe that they feel as if we're just getting better. And as I told the team, we're better than we were against Oregon. We played better this night. And if we keep doing that, then at some point the tide turns. And right now the tide's just, it hasn't turned yet, but uh, we have an opportunity next Saturday for it to turn. And that's what we're going to have to go out and do and see if we can have our best week of practice yet and keep building it. But, you know, we got a lot of guys that believe and a lot of guys that want to be a part of planting the sea here for Arizona football in the future. Why do you think the tide hasn't turned yet? I don't know. You know, I mean, I, I would say, I mean, I could point to a few things in terms of, um, you know, we turned it over in bad times. We had penalties at bad times. We, um, we certainly play our tails off. And usually when you play your tails off and you play with great effort, you know, usually the football guys work themselves out, but it doesn't necessarily do it right away. And um, I think our guys just have to keep on battling, keep on competing, and hopefully not look and worry about necessarily a losing streak and just worry about being their best they can this week to beat the next team we play. What did you think of Jordan's performance up to the point that he got injured? Uh, I thought he was playing outstanding. I thought he was playing as good as he could have played. He threw the ball away when there was nobody open. He scrambled when there was places to scramble. He, the two zone replays we called, he converted on both of those. He made great decisions with the football. Uh, he was very accurate. Um, it was really, really a shame, a shame that, that that happens. And I don't have a great answer on why. But, you know, I know that uh, we're going to go out there and battle tomorrow and figure out a way to put the best plan together we can to beat Colorado. All right, thank you, Coach. Oh, yeah, last one here. Right, right. uh, what was the reason you flipped between Tyler and Lucas on those first two field goals in the first half? Um, based on yardage. 
So we have a certain spot that we're, that Lucas is our, let's call it, long field goal and kickoff guy, and Tyler is our um, more inside uh, X amount, 30-yard line or so in. All right, thank you, Coach. Okay, thank you, guys. We're going to have a good one of these here soon.